let's talk about the platypod. So I pulled this metal plate out of the box and thought, $99 for this chunk of metal is pretty hefty, so it's not a whole lot of weight savings. It feels fairly limiting in how you can set it up, and its name is the Platypod. That's a lot of barriers to like this thing, but it's grown on me. So as I said, this thing costs $99. They do have a cheaper, lighter version. This is a unique camera support. So you get this metal plate with a mounting hole for your ball head. You can buy one of theirs that they recommend, or you can supply your own from your own tripod. It also comes with these little spiked feet, four of them. I've since lost one and now only have three. You can order replacements from the website at a very reasonably priced $11.95. There's several places on the plate for the screw holes so that you can balance it on uneven terrain or give yourself some added stability on soft soil. You also have nail and drill holes where you can semi-permanent or permanently mount this to something. You've got strap access points and they have a new accessory package coming out that provides a strap along with a silicon plate for anti-slip and a few other goodies that make this a little bit more versatile. I'm looking forward to picking that up as well. And as I mentioned, it's fairly hefty, almost a pound and a half, and that's not including putting your own ball head on. So there isn't a huge weight savings over kind of your nicer carbon fiber table tabletop style tripod. However, this is an extremely small and stable platform surprisingly stable, even when you have bigger cameras on it. And it's not a tripod. So places that don't allow tripods or would be very awkward or cumbersome to set up, this will work. The first alternative that came to mind when I pulled this out is the Gorillapod. Here is a lighter weight, in some ways more versatile and flexible, literally, pocket tripod versus the Platypod. But, I've had this one for about two years now, and it's pretty close to worthless now. It's just so floppy and loose. I can't use it with anything but the very lightest cameras. And truthfully, it was never great for anything with a little bit more weight, especially if I wanted to shoot a time lapse or a longer video segment where I need the camera to be ultra stable and not move. During time lapses, I would find that there would be just this little bit of drift as one or two or three of these little ball joints would just move a little bit under heavier weight. So while this may be more flexible to use, literally and figuratively, did I say that too many times already? It's just not something that really is going to last you. And this serious metal plate with the little spike feet and your own ball head is going to remain stable, I'm sure, and give you a good long platform to use for time lapses or any kind of setup. So I've taken this along on a weekend trip to Mount Rainier along with a two week photo workshop in Iceland. And in both cases, it wasn't the only tripod or support system that I brought with me, but it certainly was nice to have along. And when I wanted to travel very light, very fast, this is a fantastic thing to bring along. Sometimes you have to be a little bit more creative in your shot, but I would encourage landscape photographers that are considering this to think about those low to the ground shots anyway. That often is a fantastic perspective and can really set your work apart from that typical five to six feet off the ground that we so often set our cameras up at because it's just easiest for us to stand there and shoot. But those kind of views, that perspective is so common that your work can typically end up looking just normal. Whereas a low to the ground shot on a stable platform like the Platypod can set your work apart and make it seem a little bit more interesting. Now again, it's not gonna work in all situations, but for this well-built chunk of metal with these little spiked feet, throw on a ball head, and it offers a nice alternative that I'm happy to bring along on most trips, and I'm happy that I have just an easier way to travel a little bit lighter. 
As I mentioned, there is an accessory package coming out that will offer a strap, although you could use your own strap or belt if you're MacGyver-like, um, an anti-slip silicon pad, a extension here for the ball head so that you could put lighting gear on, because no, you're not limited to just mounting cameras on here. And all in all, I now give it a happy recommendation. If you're looking for something smaller, lighter, and you don't mind sacrificing a bit of height from time to time when you bring this along. If you've got any questions about the Platypod, I'll excuse the name, it's useful enough. You can leave those right down below, and if you found this video helpful, give it a quick thumbs up, and let me know what other alternatives, besides the Platypod and the Gorillapod, have you found for mounting your camera in a very stable way, low to the ground, or someplace else. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.